This is a quick review and hopefully helpful review of the new pile twin tub washing machine. Uh, this is sold by pileusa.com, a United States company, and uh, sold through Amazon. And there's actually a link down below for uh, you to look at other reviews, which I would encourage you to do on Amazon. Um, so very quickly, uh, there are a lot of instructional videos out there, so I don't need to go into great detail, but this unit uh, is ideal for uh, small apartments, dorms, uh, people who are in RVs and trailers. It's compact, it's portable, it doesn't weigh a whole lot. Um, it's approximately 21 inches wide and about a little bit below, well, 22 inches tall. Um, it uh, comes with the washing side and the spin dry side, the, the term dry is used, but it, it does, I have to say, a fairly good job of taking things pretty close to dry. Uh, what you have uh, in the box is the unit itself. It comes with some uh, pads for the floor um, that I obviously haven't add it yet. Uh, this uh, I will be showing you is for the spin. It's a cap to put over the clothes when you're spinning them. Um, the water intake is through this unit which is essentially a direct drain into this tub. So you can actually as you're filling you, you can order one of these uh, adapters or you can use a funnel actually to fill it from your faucet. Um, I think many people simply use uh, something like this, uh, hook it up next to their shower or uh, when we had this unit out at our cottage we just simply filled some buckets full of water or a canister of some sort and filled the uh, um, washing side. The controls are a number of settings for washing in terms of minutes, three minutes, six minutes, nine, 12, and 15. Um, in the manual, there's a nice guide to indicate how long you should wash what, uh, depending on the soiling or the load. Um, we have a normal setting, which I have used a soft setting for more delicates, and this is the drain, which is used after the wash cycle. Um, then there is the spin side of things, and that is in terms of minutes, and uh, three minutes is sort of your average spin drive for uh, most of the clothes, and you can go all the way up to four or five minutes. Uh, it's really something that you judge as you go. Uh, one of the nice features for um, people with families is that this side, the spinner, actually has an automatic shut off when you open the lid. Um, it shuts off and it's a nice safety feature for the person using. Um, so I'm going to very quickly uh, show you how this works. I've taken the liberty of filling the wash tub and you probably can't see but there is a low and a high setting on the side uh, depending on your load. Uh, this unit is rated for 7.7 .7 pounds of clothes or 11 depending on what you're reading and it's really something that you have to judge, uh, I think, yourself when you put clothes in because the clothes obviously have different weights when they are wet and soaked. So I'm going to put a uh, nominal amount of unmeasured detergent in <laughs> and uh, 
also I am going to start putting the clothes in. So um, this is just at the, the low level of filling. So I'm going to put enough clothes in. Uh, there's a pair of shorts, a face cloth, a t-shirt. These are all dark clothes. A denim shirt, which probably is a bit lighter than a pair of jeans. And let's say another shirt. So we put that, these in and do a little agitation before. So on goes the, let's set it at, let's set it at five minutes. So now one thing I've discovered is that the agitator can become overburdened by the weight of the clothes. So these clothes are probably just enough to not overload the agitator. But if I, for example, this is going to get a little bit messy because I'm doing this quickly. If, for example, I put less or take out some clothes, obviously the clothes are agitating more effectively and, and you can really see them working. Um, the motor goes one way, stops, and then it goes the other way and that's your washing cycle and you choose to do it as long as you want. In this case, we're doing it for about five minutes. I might, just for good measure, put this shirt back in and see what happens. So, uh, as one friend of mine said, it's a couple of outfits that you can put in. I would say wet. This is probably the 7.7, .7, somewhere between 7.7 .7 and 11 pounds uh, of clothes. And over the five minute period, it's going to agitate, or we can go all the way up to 15 minutes. So I'll let that go just for a little bit longer. I might actually take the shirt out again just to show me the true effect of whoops things. So with that amount of closing you can see it really gives a good workout. And I think if I actually put more water in on this occasion, we would be getting a bit more action in there, even with that shirt, and maybe even a bit more in there, but I, I probably didn't put enough water in. So the machine has got a good motor, it's working effectively. Okay, now for the sake of brevity, I'm going to move on. So let's say we're quite happy with the washing cycle. The next phase is to uh, stop that. So it's going to go, I'm going to just prematurely end it. And now what we want to do is drain. So we're going to put on the drain. And what you will see on the side here is the water coming out. There's no action in the tub. It just simply drains out. And that only takes a few minutes. So what we're going to do when that drains is uh, rinse the clothes. So in this case, I'm going to use the shower here and, and put enough water in here to cover these supposedly washed and clean clothes. I'll probably have to do these again after I finish because I'm speeding things up. And I'm going to fill it just so that the clothes are obviously covered. And I think what I'll do is um, this on. So uh, in order to rinse the, the clothes, the agitator is put on again to rinse the clothes with that nice fresh water that was put in. And uh, the guide indicates that uh, you do this for a bit until the uh, 
poles are no longer showing the signs of um, the fact that there's a lot of uh, detergent in there. So after you rinse the clothes, well, obviously I have to put it back here to normal because it was still undrained. That's why this wasn't going. So this is that agitator is moving the clothes around again, back and forth. So after you're happy with that, that you, you feel the clothes are rinsed, you stop the process here and drain the water again. So here we go with uh, the drain, the water draining. So the one of the ideas behind this is time in, in that it's not your mother's automatic washer in that you've pretty much got to be on to these cycles and attend to it. So you've got to do the draining, you've got to do the agitation and stay with it. Um, and it's really for small loads. Um, uh, I didn't mention the fact that this plugs into a fairly regular three-prong plug uh, that you would find in most North American uh, settings. So now that this is uh, drained, I'm going to put the shirt, the uh, t-shirt, the shorts, and the cloth in the spin dryer. This is going to be a little bit rough at the beginning because it, it, when it, after it starts to spin, uh, uh, it evens out. Uh, press down to get some of the water flowing. And, and actually, as it spins, the water does come out of that drain. So it'll spin like so. And as I indicated, if I open this, it stops. Nice feature. So you can set this, as I indicated before, one, two, three minutes, four minutes, um, as long as it takes to really get all of the water coming out of the clothes. So uh, actually what I'll do is I'll turn it off here, it stops. And then we have clothes that are damp but are not soaking wet and can be hung up uh, to dry further uh, or hung out. So a very nice system by Pile. I do recommend it. I do have a link to Amazon uh, in the description here. Um, I think it's a great idea for people for small loads. You've got to stay with this. You've got to do, obviously, if you have a lot of laundry, a couple of versions of this process, but it's a good machine. Um, in Canada, uh, Amazon, it was something like $230 in uh, the US, Amazon.com. Um, rough conversion 189 190 uh, I guess with prime free delivery so I think it's a generally good deal good value for your money and good luck and read the reviews also that would be useful thanks a lot